Hi, I'm James Lachlan, a former seven time world champion pipe band drummer. I want to share with you a little bit of a lesson inside my pipe band drumming inner circle. So every week I have a live practical lesson delivered either by myself or one of my amazing lineup of tutors. So you're gonna see a little snippet from that today. And hey, if you would like to get your hands on a free drumming course, a full video course called Drumming Transformation Week, just click in the link below. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I put out so many video tutorials on pipe band drumming, so I hope you enjoy it. And guys, well, any questions that just, we'll answer them at the end. And also on uh, Friday, I've got q and A. I've got, I'm hosting a q and A on Friday as well for anybody that can make it. If you can't make it and you've got questions, you know, just to send them on through to me. So let's just start, we're gonna build it up and then we're gonna break it back down. So let's just start right hand, seven stroke roll, easy peasy. How smooth can you make that? Right from the outset, how smooth can you make it? Is it or I want you to think of that ripping of the paper. Zip, zip. Okay, nice and easy. Now, let's put a right hand tap to start that. So let's make it a six stroke roll. That shouldn't upset the quality. You should still have that is. Sometimes when we over accent the tap to start, we get this. Right, we, we tend to have the right hand accent and then we push it a little bit too hard on the right hand buzz after that. So try and keep that smooth. Now, let's flam it, okay? So obviously we all know how to play the flam, right? Let's play your flam seven stroke roll. Okay, let's play your six stroke roll. So it's just a tap at the start of the, the seven. Ta-za. Then let's play your flam roll. So it goes ta-za, flaz, ta-za, flaz. One and two and tap, flam, tap, tap. The quality of your roll should be the both. They're both the same. So taz up with just a tap and then flaz up, the buzz quality should sound the same. All right, let's try that again, but this time listening in for that. One and two. Now, do you notice I'm just looking around the, the digital room there. Sometimes I'm seeing this when we get to the flam. Right now, if we just forget about the flam roll and play the six stroke roll, if you play the six stroke roll, look at the placement of your hands. They're like that. So when you play the flam, do not be tempted to do this. Right, keep it down low, left hand down low. Hands up who sometimes feels there's maybe a little bit of a small gap, or a little hiccup, or a little space between their flam and their next buzz. Anybody experience that? A couple of us putting our hands up? Okay, so here's a wee trick to get around that. This is important. So I want you to go a left hand double. And then I want you to go ta buzz. Okay, so still a double, but it's a tap and then a buzz, but it's gonna be bounced quite quick. Okay, so we don't wanna be doing two controlled movements like that because then you'll get that's what I often hear when someone plays a flam seven stroke roll but actually that's a flam onto a left hand five stroke roll I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a clip from our inner circle if you'd like to see the full video head on over to pipebanddrumminginnercircle.com I will put that description in the link below please be sure to hit that subscribe button because every week I upload a new video lesson. You don't want to be missing out on that. And please, while you're here, hit that subscribe button.